welcome to another Dragon Ball Collection update video. Um, thank you to everyone that has been leaving me very uh, kind, positive feedback on all of my videos. I really do appreciate it. But um, let's just get right into uh, the things that I've got since my last video. It's not too much, but I have been collecting some. Check it out. I got them all set up right here. Bam! Some Fukatsu no F, uh, Revival of F, Resurrection F, whatever you want to call it. Uh, figures. I just, and I had the Vegeta one uh, in my last video. He used to be over uh, on on these Super Battle Collections over here. I had to move some stuff around because I wanted to I wanted to put them all together. Like I wanted the, you know, the, the Vegeta and the Goku and the Frieza standing in front. But the thing is, um, I couldn't, I couldn't put them on uh, these Super Battle Collection boxes because, as you can see, they're kind of the boxes are kind of like, uh, like thin, I guess. Um, so I moved the Great Saiyan Man and Tien over here, uh, and I put them on these bigger Super Battle Collection boxes because Frieza's tail kind of makes him jut out, and he wouldn't fit on that box. But um, yeah, just check it out. Before I take them down, I just want you to check out that setup right there. It looks awesome. They they just look so cool setting all like that, like Frieza standing in front, and then you got Goku and Vegeta. Really cool stuff. But now to actually take a look at the figures, let me be really careful right here. Um, the Frieza one, oh my God, the Frieza one looks so cool. Like he's actually the last that I got. Like after I got the Vegeta, I got the Goku, and then about a week later, I got the Frieza. And the Frieza is probably my favorite uh, of the three figures. Like, I didn't... I really didn't think that... I, I wanted the Frieza just because I wanted all three of the, the characters from the movie, the main characters, but I, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. Because at first, I'm not going to lie, I thought that, you know, when I heard... When I first heard about Revival of F, and I heard that Frieza was, you know, getting a new form, I was really excited because I thought, I was like, oh my god, what is it going to look like? What kind of crazy new form is he going to have... And then it's just his final form, but he's gold. And I was like, oh, that's kind of lame. But I, um, the figure looks pretty awesome. I really do like the gold. I don't, I don't know if you can tell very well on the camera, but like in person, it looks awesome. And in the, the um, the purple like in in the middle and on his head is like really. It's almost it's like a really really shiny material. It looks really really nice. I just um really really nice Frieza figure. Probably the best Frieza figure. I have, which I actually now own every form of Frieza. That's another <laughs> reason that I wanted it, because I, I I was like, I have to own every form of Frieza. So now I have, uh, let's see, yeah, there's my first form. I think that's the only first form Frieza toy I have, is that blasting figure, those old Irwin blasting figures. And then there's second form Frieza right there. He's out of the box. Um, th where's my third? Oh, uh, third form Frieza right there. He's beside the uh, blasting first form cell. Um, and then I have a few final form. Well, not his final form anymore. It's fourth form uh, Frieza right there. There's one packaged with the Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, and then I have the 100% full power Frieza right there. You can tell because he's like really buff. And then I have the cyborg frieza that's what the box says i never really knew what to call this version of frieza like some people call him mecha frieza and this says cyborg frieza like i i don't know but yeah every form of frieza pretty awesome and then uh i showed off the uh, the vegeta figure in my last video so i'm gonna take down the goku once again i'm trying to be really careful here all right so here's the goku um, the Goku looks really awesome. I love his new outfit. Like, I know it's not completely new. It's still the same, like, you know, the orange and the blue. But I like his, like, the belt and the new boots are really cool. I don't know why, but I really love these new, like, blue and black boots. Um, and, uh, you know, the blue hair. I really like blue. Blue's my favorite color. So I really like that kind of, um, like, uh, aqua sky blue, I guess. Um, really, really cool look. And I, I really love it. And uh, I really like that, uh, the symbol on his shirt. Um, all three of these figures came, I, I got all the boxes out, I kept the boxes, they're really, there's really nothing to see with the boxes, like, I, I showed it off before, they they all come with these, um, really big stands, but, uh, thankfully, they stand just fine on their feet, and the, the stands, if I put them on the stands, they wouldn't be able to fit on that, uh, oh, excuse me, on that box, and, um, yeah, so I just let them stand on their feet, I keep the, you hear that rattling around in there, that's the stand, I just keep the stand in the box. Um, but yeah, really nothing to show off with the box itself. It's just pictures of the figure itself. 
no uh, photo shots of the movie, which is a little disappointing. Um, when I got the Battle of Gods figures, when I got Beerus and Whis, those figures, uh, the boxes that they came in actually had little screenshots of the movie on the bottom. And um, this is just kind of pretty pretty basic. Um, I don't know. I, I really miss the old Dragon Ball toys that had like like this, like the Super Battle Collections. Like I I know I always I always talk about how much I love the Super Battle Collections. They're my favorite figure of. Um, uh, favorite figure. They're my favorite line of Dragon Ball figures because I love the artwork on the boxes. I just love the way the boxes look. You have the figure itself and then a really cool uh, little piece of artwork on it. And um, these newer ones, it's just, there's no artwork or anything. It's just a picture of the figure itself. So I just kind of keep these in the closet just to kind of have them. But um, I don't put them out on display because, you know, I already have the figure out. It would be kind of redundant to just have a box with a picture of the figure on it. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's really, that's the only thing that I've gotten uh, recently are just these uh, Revival of F figures. Um, I got these for about 35 bucks each, which I think is the going rate. They're really, really beautiful figures, though. They're made by uh, Banpresso um, and Crane King, I guess. I used to think Crane King meant that you could win these in those little, you know, the crane machines where you, you know, you, know, you pick up the figure and you can win it. But um, I think Crane King, I, I, I was just making assumptions. I wasn't sure. Uh, but I think Crane King is just the name of a of a company. But yeah, that's that's who these figures uh, are made by. Really, really beautiful figures. I'm, I consider myself more of a vintage Dragon Ball collector. I really like the old school stuff. But um, I will get some current stuff every now and then. And uh, it's just these figures are beautiful. I just they're really, really nice to look at, especially when I have them all uh, together. Um, well, now that I've uh, shown all of the new things that I've got, I have a few questions. Uh, I've, I've gotten a few questions that I will uh, I will now answer. One question that I've been getting a lot is uh, about my bed sheets, my Dragon Ball Z uh, bed sheets. I, I don't know why. I've never really talked about them a whole lot. But um, a lot of people ask, where did you get those Dragon Ball bed sheets? I can't find them anywhere. Well, it's kind of a kind of a long story, but. Uh, basically, when I was about 11 or 12 years old, I used to have Dragon Ball bed sheets just like this. And um, I've, I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I've moved house several times. And for those of you out there that have moved, uh, you, you might know, um, you tend to lose stuff. And I've lost a lot of stuff moving. We have moved house several, several times, and I've lost a lot of Dragon Ball stuff. It really sucks. When we first moved into this apartment, I did not have nearly as much Dragon Ball stuff as I do now. When we first moved in here, my walls were pretty bare. Um, so I've worked really hard to build my collection back up over the years. I think I've done a pretty good job. But um, I was really bummed that I, I don't know how... When we moved, I lost my Dragon Ball bed sheets. They were, they were like this. They looked like this. But they were for a twin-size bed because I used to have a twin-size bed. I have a full-size now. Um, but I somehow managed to keep the pillow sheet. This is the, the pillow sheet. And the little mini pillow. And I don't think this came with the bed set. I think I bought this separately. But I got them at a Walmart. This is back in the days when you could find Dragon Ball stuff anywhere. Um, but yeah, I kept the pillow sheet and the pillow but lost the blanket. And I was really bummed about it because I thought, I don't know, I just thought it was so cool. Having a Dragon Ball bed just sort of ties the whole room together, you know. So it looked, for the longest time, for years, I just had a regular, I think it was a, a blue blanket just on my bed. And um it was, uh, oh my god, this was several, uh, five or six years ago, I think now, I was on uh, eBay, and I decided to type in, like, I, I tried a bunch of different things, I tried, like, Dragon Ball blanket, Dragon Ball um, bed sheet, Dragon Ball uh, comforter, I tried to word it a bunch of different ways, and I eventually did find this. And I was really, really happy. And it took a while to find, too, because sometimes... This is one of those things, sometimes you can find it, sometimes you can't. Um, but apparently this is kind of hard to find, these Dragon Ball uh, bed sheets. This, isn't, this is just a blanket. This, that's all that it was. It was a blanket. It's bigger than the one that I used to have, which is nice, because it covers my bed completely, which uh, looks awesome. But yeah, that's that's where I got it. I got it on eBay, but it was years and years ago, and apparently it's it's kind of tough to find out. But I would just say, um, just kind of keep looking for it, keep intermittently seeing if you can find it, and you might come across it. You might get lucky because it took me a while too. So yeah, that's that's where uh, those are. I'm happy to have that back because I really do love the the Dragon Ball Z blanket. It looks awesome. And another thing that was asked of me, it wasn't a question. It was just kind of a, a ask, a request, if you will. Uh, was to look at my uh, card binder. Now, 
I don't want to look at, like, really go in-depth with all these cards, because, I mean, you can see how freaking thick this binder is. There's a ton of cards in there. And this isn't even all my Dragon Ball cards, either. I have stacks of them in the closet as well. But um, when I was younger, I used to really, really be into collecting uh, cards. Um, before, I, I don't know if I've ever really shown this binder off before. Uh, I've had this for a really, really long time. But, uh, yeah, open it up. You have some pictures in here. That picture of Gohan and that picture of Piccolo is actually on that wall scroll. I remember when I first got that wall scroll, I was like, why does that look familiar? And I'm like, oh my god, it's the same pictures that are in my binder. But uh, thought that was cool. And then that picture of Vegeta, I think, is from um, The Return of Cooler. Uh, but yeah, I'm just uh, I used to collect these trading cards all the time. Like, oh my god, like crazy. Um, I don't know how well you can see them on the camera. But, uh, like I said, I don't want to... Th this video would be, like, two hours long if I took my time and actually explained all the cards. And I'll be like, oh, and this one, you know. I I'll be honest. Um, I never knew how to play the card game. <laughs> I never knew how to play the Dragon Ball Z or GT card game. I just collected them for the pictures. I just like looking at them. Uh, yeah, I... And I never, never, I even got a, a magazine, a Pojo magazine explaining how to play it, and I just still never really learned how to play it. I don't know, I don't know what happened. I think I got the magazine wanting to learn how to play, but, um, I don't know, I, I think my attention span didn't, uh, didn't really work out. <laughs> uh, well, there's Android 17. Android 17 is actually one of my favorite characters. I don't know why, I just always really like Android 17. Um, I got all my GT cards up front. Look at that. I always loved this card. Um, oh, so hard to see on this stupid camera. But it's called Red Crippler, and it's um, Elder Kai putting Kabito Kai in a cross face. That's awesome, and it's called the Crippler, in reference to Chris Benoit right there. That is so cool, because I'm a big wrestling fan, so I thought that was awesome. Uh, then we got some Dragon Ball Z stuff. I don't know why I put the GT cards before the Z cards. I, I don't know what I was thinking. My OCD nowadays would not allow it. <laughs> Oh, some, uh, yeah, Saiyan Saga stuff, uh, trying to look for some, like, like, interesting, uh, cards, this is all pretty, pretty standard stuff, some Dragon Balls right there, and into the Namek Saga, now, and Garlic Jr. stuff, uh, I know some of the cards I have in here are actually pretty rare, uh, I used to really be into, like, trying to collect super rare cards, um, yeah, just kind of looking through them. I'm sorry, I, there, there's really not much to say about these. Uh, I'm not, like, super, super informed. I, I wish I could say more about them. Like, oh, this is really good to use in tournaments. Because I know they actually used to hold Dragon Ball, uh, like, tournaments with these cards, which is insane. Like, these were actually pretty popular for a while. It's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I, I like I said, I just used to collect them because I like looking at the pictures. <laughs> that's really that's the only reason. You see, I got a lot of doubles in here. There's, like, two Hercule cards right there. Um... Yeah, that's one of the reasons I stopped collecting is I just started getting a lot. Like, I, I would have five copies of the same card, and I was just like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop. And I started spending my uh, money on other things, um, like figures and stuff. This is cool. This is one of my favorite moments in Dragon Ball Z when Goku does a Super Kaioken against Pycon. I know it's not canon, but I just always thought that was so cool that he went Kaioken while he was a Super Saiyan. That was just, oh, so awesome. I still remember, like, you know, when Sean Schimmel was like, Super Kaioken! And I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my god, K.O. Ken! Back when it was called K.O. Ken. For the longest time, I thought it was pronounced K.O. Ken, not K.O. Ken. It's funny. Boo Saga stuff. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, here's some of my rare cards. Goku the Mighty. This came in, as you can see, in an issue of Shonen Jump. And that was the only way you could get this card. And um, I think that is the only reason I bought that Shonen Jump was because I wanted this card. Uh, Brawly card. Uh, Android 15. I like Android 15. I would love to have a figure of him. I love his little hat and his uh, bow tie. He's such an odd-looking character. There is an AB figure of him that I would love to have, but hoo-hoo, it is expensive. I'm talking like, uh, I think last time I looked at him, he was over $100, and I'm like, ooh, ooh, that's just so much money. <laughs> Uh, and then these are the actual uh, collectible cards. These are not playing cards. They're just uh, trading cards. Um, oh, my God. I used to love looking at these. 
looking at these are just very nostalgic for me because I used to, uh, when I put this binder together when I was younger, uh, I used to look through it all the time and just look at these. Hey, doesn't that look familiar? Bam! It's on my pillow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all kinds of different trading cards, too. Really cool pictures on them. Love these. I've always loved these, like, uh, holographic foil cards. Can't really see that one very well because of my light, but that's the Father-Son Kamehameha. Very iconic moment. And Dragon Ball Tapion. Tapion is freaking awesome. Uh, some other pictures. Other stuff. Other cool stuff. Um, I always love these. I always love these cards right here. Well, I like that picture of Goku and Gohan standing back to back. Oh, I just love the artwork of Dragon Ball. I love the way Dragon Ball looks. It's just such a cool looking show. And I think, I think a lot of people think that too. I remember all my friends used to draw Dragon Ball back in the day. And a lot of my friends were really good at it too. Some of my friends could draw some really awesome looking pictures. I love these right here. I love Gotenks, Goten and Trunks. Two of them right there. Same freaking card. I like this. This one right here. Evil will punch in uh, Majin Buu. Some more stuff. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Awesome. Love Super Saiyan 3. One of these cards in here... Um, I think it's one of these. Yes. This card right here of uh, Janemba blasting Super Saiyan 3 Goku, that's one of the first trading cards I ever got. And at the time, I was really young. I think uh, on Toonami, it was only up to the Cell Saga. And when I got this card, this card used to just baffle me. Like, I was like, why does Goku have long hair? Who is that guy blasting Goku? What, what is this? What is this from? Ah, it drove me insane. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I really miss the mystique that Dragon Ball used to have back when I really didn't know much about it. And I would see stuff like that and it would just get my imagination running wild. Really cool stuff. I've actually, uh, people, some people have asked me, yes, I am currently watching Dragon Ball Super. I just watched episode two last night and, uh, I love it. It's really awesome. I feel like a kid again. I was at work yesterday, and I was like, man, I can't wait to go home and watch Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> it's like I'm coming home from school. It's it's really cool. Very, uh, it, it just feels, it, it's awesome. It's really, really cool. These are um Spanish Dragon Ball trading cards. Or actually, I think that you actually play with these. But, uh, yeah, these are, these are really cool. I love that. I love Frieza's second form. It looks so awesome. Yeah, these are all Spanish. I mean, at least I'm pretty sure they're Spanish. It sounds like Spanish. Uh, Yamcha y Giron si sono affrontati y un bar per... Yeah, that sounds Spanish to me. I don't know. I'm sorry if uh, I offend some of you. I'm an ignorant American. What can I say? Uh, oh, remember these? You remember these cards? These were like... Uh... Oh my god, what were these called? These were called something like film cards or something like that, but they were like pictures from Dragon Ball movies, but they were like, uh, they were like, I'm trying to, how the heck, I'm trying to take them out so you can actually see them. Here we go, jeez. But they were like, uh, pictures, but you, can you see they're like kind of transparent, so if you hold them up to the light, they're like, uh, well that's way too bright. <laughs> um, yeah, this is from the Lord Slug movie, but yeah. I was really into collecting these for a while. Now, you used to have a lot more of them. I don't know what happened to them, but, uh, yeah. Oh, the film cards. It actually says it on the back. Yeah, cards with a Z. Um, but, yeah, yeah, they, I thought these were really cool when I was a kid. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my card binder. Like I said, I have more in my closet, but I just uh, there's just freaking way too many. And most of them are copies anyway. But, um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the extent of uh, what I've got and just a few things here and there. Um, this video has been going on for like almost 20 minutes now. Sorry, I tried to make this as short as I could. So if you hung around and watched the whole thing, I appreciate it. Uh, definitely more videos coming up soon. Um, there's some really interesting stuff that I'm looking at that I hope to get that I would really love to share with you guys. I think you'd like it. But um, until then, thank you for watching and I will see you later.